watched the first episode of Marvel's new TV show, Moon Knight, and I gotta say, I'm liking it. It's not like anything we've seen before. It's really pushing the boundaries that Marvel have had for the MCU over the years. Kind of the same way that they did with WandaVision, and I really think this show is going to get even better. Because if you look at who wrote and created it for TV, it's Jeremy Slater. Who did the Umbrella Academy, which was a really, really good and funny TV show. We're first introduced to Ethan Hawke's character Arthur Harrow where he puts broken glass into his shoes and he puts on his shoes and then begins to walk around. Yeah. Imagine doing that in real life. Like no way I'd be doing that. Oh and the crunching underneath the feet of the glass. Oof. Ugh. We're introduced to our main character Stephen Grant who is portrayed by Oscar Isaac who is on his bed and Oscar Isaac's portrayal of Stephen Grant is incredible where he wakes up in the Alps and people are shooting at him and he is scared like he is pure panic mode and you can see the acting prowess that Oscar Isaac has in this first episode throughout the whole episode you get to understand who Stephen Grant is how he interacts with people what he knows just how Stephen Grant is if I could describe him He's kind of like that weird guy in school, everyone's had that kind of weird guy that has been in school, where they talk to themselves, uh, he can know so much on a certain topic, and you're like looking at him like, why do you know so much about this, it's just so weird. Someone who doesn't like confrontations, for example, look at this scene outside his door, this perfectly sums up Stephen Grant really it really does and I'm really liking his performance throughout this entire episode and I feel like it's only going to get better moving on I want to talk about the locations you can see that basically all locations in this show are actually real locations and yes this might cost more because they are renting out places like the museum or having to travel there or set up equipment etc etc but it really really does pay off in the end because some of these scenes are just really really good and having them as real locations kind of feels to me anyway like you're there like you could go to this place and be like oh my god this is where Moon Knight uh, killed whatever or Moon Knight fought whatever there kind of thing you know that kind of thing. Gregory Milton who is the director of photography has worked on Game of Thrones and on The Killing and he does some incredible work in this episode. For example, when Stephen Grant wakes up in the Alps, he turns to his left, the camera moves too. And then when he turns to his right, the camera turns as well. Something small but really well done. Another two parts I liked were when he's at home and he goes to his bathroom and looks in the mirror. And Mark, who is Moon Knight, is in the mirror shaking his head. And the scene at the end of the episode where Stephen Grant is trapped in the bathroom and the dog is breaking down the door and Mark is talking to Stephen in the mirrors that are around him and the way the camera moves and everything it just feels so nice and so smooth really makes you feel like you're the one kind of watching Mark or you're watching Stephen and you could be Stephen and Stephen's talk or Mark is talking to you or Stephen is talking to you when you're Mark, that kind of thing. And it's just really, really, really well done. It's so creative as well. Overall, I would say this episode was a really good one. And I like how this is going to be something different from your typical Marvel TV shows or movies, excluding the Netflix TV shows, for example, like Daredevil. And I'm excited for the rest of this show and how it fits into the bigger Marvel picture.